Okay, so we've been working with uh, Python and we've been making functions uh, to draw shapes. And so, again, looking at our code, we have one function called draw shape. Uh, it receives two parameters, shape and color. So it's expecting right now our code is square or triangle. And we can also send a color. And that is one of the built in colors in the turtle module. So let's run that and see what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so we got, okay, so we're drawing a blue square, a red triangle, a green square, and a purple triangle. Okay, so what I want to do now is if we look at this code, so you can see it's pretty easy to understand, but let's say we wanted to add a pentagon, which has five sides. We wanted to add a hexagon, which has six sides. Okay, or we just want to add like an arbitrary number of shapes. We could keep adding shapes to this. Uh, forever, but the code would get really, 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 really long. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to make keep things as simple as possible. So what we got to do is we're going to think about and this is a little bit of math, I suppose. Is we need to think about the relationship. So a square is defined as having four sides. A triangle is defined by having three sides. Um, a pentagon has five, and a uh, hexagon has six. And as I mentioned in an earlier video, the angle that you turn is 360, because that's the number of degrees in a circle, 360 divided by the number of sides. So 360 divided by 4 equals 90. 360 divided by 3 equals 120. So watch what I'm about to do here. I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff, shape, etc. And I'm just going to unindent all that. And I'm going to make it real super simple so I don't need all that anymore. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change shape to sides so we know what that means. I'm going to keep color. So, for I in range sides, so let's say if sides is four, okay, sides divided by, sorry, actually it's 360 divided by sides. Okay, So now if we have a square, it's four sides. If we have a triangle, it's three sides. Again, triangle's four sides, triangle's three sides. Let's test that, just make sure it works. Okay. So again, just to, well before we test it, remember, so four, so sides is four, blue is the color. So we turn it to blue. So 0 to 4, 360 divided by 4 is 90. It's the exact same code that we had previously. But now it's much shorter, and it's not so much restricted to those sizes. And we'll show you that in a second. So let's make sure it works. Four sides, 90 degrees. Three sides, 120. Four sides, three sides. Pretty cool. So now what we can do, <clears throat> let's say I, I mentioned I want to do a pentagon, which is five sides. I want to do a hexagon, which is six sides. So if I run it, five sides and six sides. Okay. This is what we call algorithmic thinking. Okay. We look at a pattern. So we know the pattern, the relationship between the number of sides and the angle. So we look at that and we made this clever little code, well, somewhat clever, uh, little code here that takes whatever number of sides and just draws them. Uh, and it automatically adjusts the angle based on a little bit of math. So we, we analyze it, we know that the number, the angle is equal to 360 divided by the number of sides. So we can basically make any arbitrary number of, uh, of sides that we wanted to. Um, but so in this case, we've got a square, we've got a triangle, a pentagon, and a hexagon. And in the next lesson, we'll learn how to make that a little bit more readable for someone.